So don't overdo it. Don't be the Hare Krishnas of Facebook always shoving some kind of status update in their face because people don't want to see it. Okay, folks, everybody's got at least one friend on Facebook who's annoying and is always overposting. Here's how you get rid of their posts. If you take a look in the upper right-hand corner, you'll notice I'm moving my mouse around, and of course, nothing happens in that area. But if I hover the mouse in the upper right-hand corner of Jason's post, you'll see that an X appears. I move it away, it disappears, I put it back, and it appears. So this hide button is actually hidden, which is bizarre. Now, if I click on it, you'll see that a couple of fields show up in a drop-down box, and I can either hide this post or hide everything by Jason. And if I click on that, Jason's updates will no longer appear in my news feed, and Facebook will tell you that. So if you want to get rid of those annoying friends, this is how you do it. But maybe you make a mistake, or maybe you want to get them back. How do you do that? Well, make sure that you're looking at your top news, and one of the ways to do it, if you just delete the post, is to edit and get it back. Otherwise, you have to go to the right and scroll down, and if you go to the bottom, Facebook will scroll you back up. So you have to go back down to the bottom again, click Edit Options in the lower right-hand corner, find Jason, who I just removed, so I can add him right back to the news feed by clicking here, click Close, and you'll notice Jason's post uh, is back, although it's been overwritten by other people's posts, but I would now be able to see his posts again. You can also use this same technique to get rid of annoying applications like Farmville, Mafia Wars, Daily Horoscope, there are a million of them. Use the same technique to get rid of them. However, if you want to bring them back, it gets a little bit tricky. When you go to the bottom of the page to click Edit Options, the options will show up, but you have to click the apps tab in order to get the apps. Thanks for coming by, and for more tips like that, click like on my Facebook page, which you can see a link for at the bottom.